Today, I'm going to tell you how I started a plumbing company and went from zero to a million dollars in the first year with almost no money in the bank. And I'm going to tell you right now. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I've been plumbing over 38 years and I have every master endorsement in the state of Texas. On this channel, I'm teaching you everything you need to know about plumbing. If you haven't been here before, please subscribe so you don't miss anything. I remember the day I was sitting in a meeting. I was director of operations for a large mechanical contractor right here in Dallas, and they decided they were going to get into residential service plumbing. Whenever the owner said we were going to advertise that we specialized in customer service and the best trained plumbers, I asked, what are we going to do to train our people? And she said, what do you mean? I said, if we're going to tell people we have the best trained plumbers, what are we doing to train them? And how are we training customer service? And she told me, our people have a plumbing license, they know what they're doing, and they know how to say please and thank you. I'm sorry, but that's not how you start a company. I decided at that point I wanted to start my own residential service company, and I'm going to tell you the things I had to learn to where I could do that, literally without having any money in the bank to do it. Don't start a plumbing company if you're not sure what you're doing. Pick something to, to specialize in. If you're going to make yourself unique, have a specialty. It may be slab leaks, leak detection, water filtration. Do something that most plumbing companies don't do. If you do just the same thing over and over, you're going to be just another company. Set yourself apart. Become an expert in plumbing. Become an expert at a particular part of plumbing. If you're going to specialize in water filtration, know it better than any plumber in town. Know plumbing. That is one of the most important things you need to know. Create a great website. You may not be the largest plumbing company in your area, but you can look like you are. And I know that sounds funny, but one of my website designers told me, Roger, why don't you look like the biggest guys in town? I said, I'm not. He said, no, but when people look at your web page, they don't know that. So create a web page that really makes you look larger than you are. It will help you get customers that may be looking for a larger company, but not the ones they see on TV every day, and you may be that guy. Number two about a website, learn analytics. Learn what you can learn from your website. You can find out if people are coming to look at you, what page they're coming to look at, and what you can do better to improve that to help you grow your business. Number three, you need to get out and network. I know that sounds crazy, but in the beginning, you don't have a lot of money. So learning, networking, getting out, meeting people face-to-face -face is huge. And I used to be against networking. But what I figured out is when I got out and started talking to people and let them know that I was a plumber, they wanted to talk about plumbing. They wanted to talk about the problems they had or if I could fix this or if I could fix that. Don't get caught up in all the games and the who's here to visit with who and don't hang out with the same people all the time. When you show up there, you're there to network, you're there to meet people, you're there to grow business, but you're also there to help the people you meet grow their business too. And if you look at it that way, you will be fantastic. Build a social media presence. Being on social media is not just posting every now and then. Being on social media is understanding that each platform is different and you need to treat each platform as a different show. You've got Facebook, you've got LinkedIn, you've got YouTube, you've got Twitter, but what are you doing? If you are just putting posts and ads and commercials out, you're not doing it right. Build a presence on social media where you are giving away value. Facebook, you can communicate with your community. LinkedIn, you can teach people around the world how to do what it is you do, how to do it well. You can also learn things from the people as they engage with your content. And a big tip here, engage back. Make sure you're communicating with the people that are communicating with you. YouTube, you can make videos to let people know what it is you do that's different from everybody else. Guys, engagement is how you build relationships. 
Social media and having a great social media presence is a wonderful way to do that. Video is big because it helps you build a relationship with your customers, with your friends. And when I say with your customers, not just the customer you want to work for, but the customer that can introduce you to their friends. Video lets you talk to them, lets them see you talking to them, and now you start building that relationship. Video is huge in almost every social media platform. And learning how to do video, even if it's just pulling out your phone, looking up into it and saying, hey, this is what I'm doing today, guys, that is huge. If you're just putting out a post saying, hey, we're running a special on water heaters, you're not going to get a lot out of it. But if you do a video showing somebody how to flush a water heater, or your guys installing a water heater, now they're going to see something. Video is one of the biggest things that nobody's doing. And that's one thing that I had to learn, as you see right now, that helped me get out and in front of people. Number six, get the right SEO company. Do you know what SEO is? Search engine optimization. Why is it important? Listen to the name. That's how people find you. Getting the right search engine optimization done on your website or certain social media platforms can help you get found or help your video get found and help put you in front of the right people. Oh my God, guys, listen to me here. This is worth the whole video right here. I have spent so much money on wrong SEO and marketing companies that I cannot even tell you how bad it was. Actually, I can. We had companies that, uh, let's call them other people's money. That's what it felt like. We were just throwing money at them because they were like, oh, you want your phone ring more? You need to do this. You need to do this. Let me tell you, we were literally picking up cell phones, calling the office to see if the phones were working. And this happened twice, not once, twice. SEO and understanding SEO is huge in our industry. When you start your company, you're not going to be sure what direction you're going. Stop and think about it before you start. Remember, if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. Know where you're going. Know what kind of company you want to be. Start building towards that. Having a plan on what kind of work you're going to do, what you're going to need in those trucks to do that work, what advertising, what growth plan, what do you want to be when you're a grown-up company. That's going to help you figure out how to get to where you want to go. In the beginning, don't try to do everything. If you're not set up for certain things, don't tell people you do it. Don't try to do it. Don't just jump into it because a job is offered. That can actually get you in trouble. Make sure you understand what you're good at and get great at it. That will help you in this industry. And one thing to understand here in knowing your business plan, everybody is not your customer. The people that are only worried about pricing probably aren't your customer. Knowing your business plan and what kind of plumbing company you want to be makes all the difference in the world. And when you know that and you stick with it, that will help get you to where you want to be in this career. If you're serious about plumbing, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything. And watch the next video. It'll help you. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber, and I'll see you on the next video if you don't get flushed.